All right, so that was the kitchen, right? Yeah, we're gonna check. We check Larry's room. We'll go out and check the treehouse real quick. We'll talk to Larry on the way back, and then I'll go talk to Todd about his research. Oh, I might as well just check outside. Never know. Don't mind me, I'm just playing Pokemon Go, it's cool. No demons getting summoned over here, no siree Bob. I was gonna say, if it's gonna happen out here, it's gonna happen here to the stuff. L? Who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No. Thing. Something. No. Something. F something. Sal. Get every. Uh, many lives. Will. In it. All right. Or depend on it. I. Sorry. I haven't much time. Must remember the red ball. You have to remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? To go. I have to go now. The bridge is fading. Don't forget the red ball. Something, something, something to die. Something, something. For you. Something. Coming for you, maybe? Oh, just what I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts. Then that happens. Whatever that was. My life is weird. Well, I should probably check it with Todd again to see if he's found anything. Alright, so that's probably all the ones we can get in this chapter. But I will try to play this next thing. All right, chapter two. And the mysterious old woman gazed once again into Jim's eyes and said, you can find the door. This key unlocks. We will share the secrets of the universe with you. Oh, this was the guy who was at the door in the other one. Visually, I'm getting like shades of freaking Pokemon Jim right now. Like, it looks kind of like, uh... Larry's dad. That was close, yeah. Go back to D-pad. If the bottom was the way, I the bottom was the way, because I need to hit that button. Okay, I get to swing through here. Get a little touchy. I like the little like the nose wiggles and the eyebrow movements and stuff, that's cute. I don't know why we're just doing this, just assuming that doing the, uh, Gear Boy stuff is actually a good idea. I have no idea if this is just gonna unleash demons and ruin my life. Have we seen a red ball at all, though? That's, that's the big question. Keep an eye out. Also, could be Mars. Um, maybe some loose organs somewhere. Alright, there's a good look at the button. What's with these diagrams? Is that supposed to just be a general hint as to what's going on here? Weird. I'd like, I don't like unexplained sigils, thank you. The little wiggle sounded like a haha, -ha and I don't like that either. Alright, um... First, okay. Nothing there. Okay, all right.
All right, we did it. There's four more chapters in this. So I guess we would get most of them next chapter of the game per se. Let's go talk to Larry, I guess. Remember the red ball. Oh yeah, actually, let me, let, I'm going to look around real quick to see if there's anything with a red ball here. I feel like we'll do at least one more chapter tonight. Nice Mr. Yuck sticker. Nothing looking like a red ball here. I don't think I... Yeah, and, um... don't remember... Uh, not Chug. Dave. I don't think David had uh, anything resembling a red ball. Camera's kind of have a red ball thing going on. Yeah, the Super Gear Boy. Todd made that? It's pretty awesome. Wait, like, wait, is that my walkie talkie? Oh, yeah, he needed the parts for the upgrade. I hope you don't mind. I can get us new ones. Damn, well, that's okay. Hopefully, we'll help you find out more about these ghosts and my curse. Agreed. Hasta la vista, Sally. Red ball nose on our friend there. Anything new with Lisa before we go? That was anything. That lad is taking good care of me. Okay. I'm going to check every room on the way back for the red ball. Might as well. The bathroom thing makes me wonder if the red ball is also like. It could be like. a float in a toilet. So maybe Chug will be back in uh, his apartment next chapter, I guess. We can hope. Alright, Red Ball at Rosenberg's. Probably not. Oh. Find those six cups. Four plates of the fine china. Getting cold up here. I'm like freezing my shorties off. Actually, yeah, we'll do two last since that's uh, odds. Yeah, David just hangs out. No red ball that we know of. They get the chugs. All right, four, four. Do I have a red ball? Does the cat? Does Gizmo have a red ball? Nope. Orange ball. Bathroom balls? Nope. Just poop. Oh, wait. Check my room, check. Nope. Check my room, check dad's room. No red balls here, just red curtains, red guitar. Red ball could also refer to like, like a party or dance as well, but I have doubts, I have doubts. All right, um, that looks like that might have been a wash. Also, we just met Ashley, so I don't know if we'll have a chance to go to her place at all. Or she'll, I think she hangs out with you in the later chapters, at the very least. I remember seeing her as like a friend slash party member. Um, oh, we're on four. All right. One last sweep for red balls. If we don't find a red ball, then we know that um. It's probably in one of the rooms we haven't gotten to yet. Better to check now than to forget later. 
But then I can at least prioritize those when we get to dicking around later on in the game. Sure, we hit this up already. Okay, cool. Let's go talk to Todd. Oh, dude, just help. Oh, take the bathroom. I'm gonna manually summon her, and it's not doing anything either. Okay. Odd. Down to 202. Oh, I didn't check over by the mail and stuff. Sorry again, be it thorough. I mean, I checked it with the uh, the, the gel, but I didn't check for a red ball. No red balls in the trash or recycling. All right, cool. At least everybody seems to be wiping their feet at the door. Thank you for your attention to public safety. All right. Oh. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Floor two. If we never get to find out what the sawing is all about, like, it's gonna drive me up the wall, but I'm also gonna think it's hilarious. That's right, yeah, we got weird sigil here, too. Oh, alright. Let's talk to Todd. I think we checked everything here. He can't go to his parents' room. Red ball. Balloon, not red. Not really, anyway. Looks like I could resummon guy who got sucked back down toilet. Todd, talk to me about things. And or red balls. It's strange, but I can't find any reports of past murders. The only that comes up is our friend Charlie, but look at this photo of him on public record. Wait, what? What? It's even weirder. Like, that's not him. No trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mrs. Sanderson was killed. Not even the classified police report records. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I didn't find one interesting thing. The missing person case from 1987. Megan Holmes, age 7. Lived in Addison Apartments with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like it may be a little friend from upstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from my bathroom was telling us about. Stories light up, right? Well, here's where it gets weird again. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Stacy sounds familiar. Okay. There's an update to the report. One day after the original was filed, it stated the girl was found dead in Wendigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. It says they had been fishing and fell in the river and drowned. Some kind of a mudslide or something. That's definitely her. Wait a second. I've seen that necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I've seen it somewhere else. Did Ash have it? She haven't been able to summon her, even with the super gear boy. Perhaps finding the necklace will help somehow. Or did Rose, Mrs. Rosenberg have it? That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection to when she was alive. I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Well, it wouldn't be Ashley because she's not, she doesn't live in the apartments. Kind of feeling Rosenberg, especially since he got all weird when I used the gubbin. Or not? Okay. Lost and found? Treehouse? I don't remember seeing one hang on the wall anywhere. There we go. 
Now Larry was Sue Megan for sure. Okay, Wookie Magic, whatever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? Yo, yo, Megan, it's your boy, Sally Face. This is my friend, Larry. We have some questions to ask you. Hi, Sally Face. Holy fuck, Knuckles. Isn't that a nice word, Larry? Ah, oh, you'll have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says bad words sometimes, too. Uh, where have you been lately? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, but a little different. Um, what can you tell me about your parents? I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. But he wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? Remember they had a fight and he was sad. Then his sadness turned into angriness. Do you know someone named Greg? Oh, you mean mommy's friend. I like Greg. He always brings me candy. Can you remember anything about him? Um, just that he was nice and always brought candy. Oh, and my daddy didn't like him so much, but I don't know why. <laughs> no, well, we know why. Um, do you remember your last days? I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at Lake Wendigo? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. But my daddy went sometimes with Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Oh, wait, wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah, how did you know that? That's my dad. I... Oh, yes, our daddies were friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. Yeah, you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. I just know Mr. Johnson and my daddy went fishing a lot. Sorry. Mr. Johnson at the bottom of that lake, and if so, why? Was Daddy trying to cover things up even further? Is this your necklace? Hey, yes, where did you find that? It was downstairs in the bottom of the lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Do you know where your mommy is now? She's in her bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she... Uh-oh. What? Daddy's coming. He doesn't like when I talk to people. I have to go. Bye-bye. Wait. Wait, I... Well, we got another chapter. Yeah. Yeah, they never seem to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to need to get into that bedroom, but it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave it back. Would you mind going and get it from him? I've asked him like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you'll have better luck. Sure, I'll head down to the third floor now and see what I can do. But first... Video juegos. God modified my gear boy. I want to look at the photo too to see if there's any other clues besides the necklace. Alright, chapter 5. Playtime was interrupted by prob the promptly setting sun. In that moment, the young girl realized she had gone far too deep into unfamiliar woods. Left, up. I'm going by the, uh, the Lost Woods method of Legend of Zelda. Left down, left up. I can't go up. Alright, so there's Big Tree Top. I'm going left from Brig Tree, so we'll try that. Okay, that's still the same. I can't interact with it. Try going back right. Did we start with Big Tree?
some kind of crap shooting here. I'm looking for some sort of pattern. Okay, wait. So we got growth on the right there. And then dead trees this way. Growth that way. We're back to this one. Growth takes me back to center tree. Okay. Starting to see a pattern here. That swapped it. So that's going to take me back to center tree. No? all the dead stuff for a while. Now let's just go back to start again. Try the living stuff for a while. Also, is, is it just me or is the screen getting more faded? Oh, okay. We just lost for too long. Yeah, if I guess you get too lost, you lose. I feel like One Direction for a while is not going to do it. I don't remember receiving any clues. I guess we could... Let me check the photo. And over the necklace, okay. Oh, yeah, neither of those really doing anything. If it gets really bad, I might look up the solution to this one, but... Going down, it can't loop back to top tree, right? Or loop back to top tree that way. This keeps looping that way if I keep doing that. So what if we go dead growth, get dead left, and then up? And then dead left. This is what we just did. Go up from dead left. Fail state, okay. All dead. Okay. Oh, this is new. Or no, it's not. Damn it. I'm probably gonna botch this again. Damn it. 
I'm not picking up on a pattern here. Let's maybe follow the stones. On the path. But they both have stones going both directions there. Most stones, maybe? That just took me back. Back again. Oh, if I go back, we'll go back to the pre. Okay, it looks like it does take me back to the previous one we were on. I cannot, for the life of me, figure this out. I thought going down would be the thing there. Oh, there we go! Where have you been, Chad? You had me worried sick. I'm sorry, Mama. I was lost. It was so dark, and... Hush now, my sweet angel. Everything is okay. Here, I want you to have this. Grandma's necklace? It will take you from the wickedness, wickedness in this world, so you don't have to be afraid anymore. What about father? He doesn't have to know. This will be our little secret. Okay, we got it. Cool. I hope somebody was keeping track of how I did that, because I was not. That's five out of the way, then. Alright, I forgot what our next objective was. Crowbar from David in 302. Red ball. Think about that red ball. Uh. The butter. Can I borrow your crowbar? The delayed to you, but it's the only thing holding on my shelf right now. It was kids next door. 301, they're nice kids. At all. But they have these real loud parties sometimes. The whole wall and my shelf falls right down. The fiends could talk to them for me. Get a little quieter, but I could get Lechin's bar to crowbar. Okay, I can talk to them. Hey, Steel. I do it myself, but I'm out of clean clothes, you see. And I just hate to be the party people, but you know. Not a problem. Be right back. Yes. Alright. What's up, nerds? Big. Cool party. The red ball in the toy box here? Decent music. Hey Z, what's up? Hey Sally Face, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I've got this little book of games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Uh. Next. Dodgeball. I'm kind of here for dodgeball, honestly. How about this game? This is sad. I don't think there's quite enough room in here for dodgeball. Telephone, maybe? How about this game? You know, this reminds me of grade school. That touch of nostalgia can be just for this part of you. Thanks, Sal. Cell. Hey CJ, what are you up to? I'm trying to choose the music for a party tonight. Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Alright, um. That's a little more chill. That's awesome! But that's not gonna help me get the. the, uh. the, uh, crowbar. That's also pretty gentle. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I like this a lot. 
How about this? So this is when everyone to sleep. Um, Oh, you know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think it'll work. Alright. Also, I kind of slipped in a ladder there. Whoops. Hey, Sierra, what are you up to? Oh, well, hey, Sally Face. I'm contemplating alternative activities for tonight's party. I heard that I like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. Is it okay if I look over your list? Go okay. Um. Always video games. Usually my go to choice also. That could work. Alright. Video juegos. Brother, can I borrow your crowbar? Apparently, it wasn't quiet enough. Let's roll with the music. Probably pick a game. Oh, video games might not work. Okay, um, chess tournament. It's been a while since we've done a tournament. It's perfect choice for tonight. Okay, that's quieter. Cool. I guess you could probably bump the video games, so... That would do it. We're doing a lot with the college students. They're gonna have a much more low-key party this time. Wow, that's great news. Thanks for helping me out. Literally so happy, too. Last time, our wedding picture almost blowed up to pieces. Thought I could help. Right, let me grab that crowbar for you. One second. Here you go, buddy. Take care. Thanks, you too. I don't think there's anything else I could crowbar. I don't remember if there's anything else boarded up, so... Okay, it has to be 504. Okay. Hopefully, it's more than one use. Glad I thought of that before we went upstairs. Oh, hi. Mrs. Sanderson? Who are you? My name is Sal. I moved in after you died. I can't remember much of it. Just hazy pieces, like waking from a dream. He went after my Herman. He couldn't come ba bear to come back to his ro this room. Movers came and took everything out for him. He looked totally defeated. He must have meant the world to him. I miss him so much. This cold isolation is torturous. I wish we had never moved to this place. I would never have never met them, and Charlie would have never. Oh no, it's coming back. Don't worry, Mrs. Sanderson. Go hide. Bye, Sal. Oh, I just realized she's talking about out of the slit throat, too. Alright! We got another thing. Cool. And we got an achievement for coming back in here. Looks like that's the last chapter in the list, too. Interesting. I'm guessing there's no way to finish the rest if you don't do that. I am going to take a quick look around to see if we can crowbar anything else here. Yeah, okay, we still got it. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. Inventory, Super Gear Boy. Let's play Chapter Eight. Two more to find. After learning what Herman was involved with, Mrs. Sanderson reached out to a friend for help. They would meet up later that night. Have a nice day at work. Probably you'll stay out of trouble, honey. Of course. Love you, babe. You too. Have to gather some evidence first if anyone is going to believe this. Okay, so real Dodge Boy hours. Yolo! Maybe don't go all of the lows. Ah! Woo! Oh, now I gotta get back. Yo! stick for this is actually a lot better because I'm just like freewheeling. 
He's in good time to talk. Can you come back later? It's Charlie. Maybe Charlie had the book on him. And that's why the cops snuck him out. Oh, what the hell has gotten into you? Oh! The thing that was summoned in one of the other chapters. Go figure. Alright. Alright, so... Alright. Uh, Charlie was on two, right? I know it said, said stuff about the stink, but I don't know if we can actually, like... Can we crowbar it to get in there even despite the stink? Nope. Oh, that's right, we just... Check the lingering smell. Guess he's checking every locked door again. What is with that damn saw? Bugging the crap out of me. A couple other locked ones on the top floor too. I don't think there's anything else locked in a odd place. Oh, actually, can I crowbar the machine open? It says it's empty, but maybe there's a chocolate hiding in there. A log shot, but. I think I checked the cabinet after, um, yeah, the weird cabinet after we, um, we checked the treehouse, but I think the note inside of this one. Oh, that was interactive this time. Or no, Todd's room, then stairs. Or Larry's room, not Todd. Todd's, Todd's the nerd. I hold up. Okay, I just can't believe I've been living in a building filled with ghosts. Never realized it before. Makes sense if you think about it. You never sought it out. You didn't even believe in this stuff before. Even if you did see something strange, you probably just wrote it off in your mind as something more logical, you know? Yeah, you're probably right. I feel like I should take Larry with me. Yeah, because I, I didn't try the cabinet after they told me about the red ball, so... I don't remember trying it anyway. Actually, let me check the photo to see if there's any red ball in the photo. I didn't think of that either. Why did Gear Boy on me? Unless that activated another chapter that wasn't there before. There was there usually a number comes up when you get a chapter though. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Maybe it's just left over. Maybe that's the only way they program the scene. Uh where are we going? Let's go. We're gonna do floor I'm gonna check the other doors on floor five. I'm gonna do five oh four last just because there's an option to tell Larry about the crowbar. I don't know if that makes him come along or not. I 
just wanted to check the other locked doors real quick. Doesn't activate crowbar there. Very loose panels on the wall too. All right. Um, yeah, let's go talk to Larry then, and we'll get underway. Sorry for all the shuffling around. I just wanted to make sure we we're not missing. I feel like we're finding a lot of extra stuff this time, so that's cool. Got the crowbar. Okay, awesome. Go ahead up without me. I'll be up in a minute. I have to make a stop on the way. Oh, really? For some reason, that makes me have concerns. I just thought he's got the little photo of us on his mirror. That's cute. Make a quick stop on the way as well. Crowbar, any mailboxes? No. Alright, cool. Plus, with the landlord, like, right down the hall, I feel like he would at least, he'd probably hear that. I didn't see a camera trained on the mailboxes, which would actually probably be a good idea, but here we go. 504. Let's see what's up. What's going on? Be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Last pass before we go in. All right. There goes nothing. Okay, so near the mattress is where the goods are. Where some goods are. But also a big hole. I think we're going to check this first. Another slit throat. Stacy? Are you okay? That's why she doesn't talk anymore. Well, we got number four. Maybe the last one's in the hole. Not like I have much of an option. Um... Uh, Take it a little longer. I, I, I guess I'll just break this chapter into two uh, episodes. It's fun. All right, chapter four. When her husband learned of her indiscretion, Stacy knew there wasn't much time left. In fear for her life, she turned to an unlikely ally. We need to cut the power lines on each floor. I hope we can pull this off. Okay. Go to the elevator. Power on five. Done. I imagine this is going to get more and more complex as we go. Looks like we can't... Yeah, it looks like the doors are not a thing. I'm, I'm going to keep checking a little bit, but... Oh! New pattern. New pattern. I mean, I could have expected that. Got it. Go straight. We got the triple threat. Knock it. Cool. I appreciate that there's enough challenges. You gotta think about it a little bit. Wait. There's a door over here? There's not one in, there's not one in the basement that I know of, unless it's behind that biohazard cabinet. That's new and exciting. 
Oh! This is Rosenberg. This is Rosenberg. Okay, Mr. Big, I cut the power and Greg disposed of the bones. Bones? This is getting weird. Yeah, I have to destroy, have to destroy the seventh book. Would we really be able to stop them? I got a good chance. Nothing is guaranteed, but I think we might have done it. We never let these things get this far in the first place. I'm sorry that Luke had to get your family involved in all this. If it's not the ritual, then the council won't have another chance to fulfill it in 40,000 years. Pretty god that it works. God doesn't care about us, my dear. Don't waste your breath on such things. We must fight for our own survival. Damn. Alright, well, we got one chapter left. We'll come back for the hole in a minute. I want to check that corner. That's weird. Oh, yeah, it's, it's behind the shelves. But I have no way to move the shelves right now. But it is there. Okay. That's got to be key. And uh, we probably have to block the camera. Where the shelves are so they can't see us messing with it. Okay. Okay. We have a plan. That might be the next chapter or the end of this after... Uh, Whole party 2K9. I didn't think I asked Larry about it. Or Lisa. They would both know they live in the basement. I, I kind of want to see if we can get anything else out of, uh, else out of Rosenberg before we wrap this up, too. Anything new? Are you okay? What was that thing? Are you okay? I haven't been in a long time. I meant... I say no, Sally. I'm not going to drop dead on you. Not today, at least. Alright. No extra hints there. Although, I'm glad we came back for that. About Addison Tea. Everyone seems to love your tea. You should open up a little shop in town or something. I bet you do really well. What a fine young chap you are, Sal. You know, I don't often talk about this, but... It was once my dream to do such a thing. Once my father passed, I decided to carry out his dream of maintaining the Addison Apartments. Don't you think your dad would have wanted you to follow your own aspirations? Yes, I suppose he would have. Though it's much too late for that now. I couldn't possibly abandon this place. You could always sell it to someone who would make take good care of it and then use that money to start your business. Well, come take a gander at our own little entrepreneur in the house. You're a true inspiration, young sir. However, I'm quite happy with my life here. I get to keep my father's dream going and I also make my tea for the tenants. One of the best of both worlds. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Hey, Terrence? Nobody's called me by that in a long time. I, oh, I had almost forgotten my own name for a moment. I want you to know that I understand what it's like to be afraid. I hide away from the world. If you ever want to talk, I'm here for you. Thank you, Sal. You're a good person. A true friend. Aw? I got an achievement for... Talking about the Addison family. That's cool. I like that these threads have little things you can wrap up if you actually, like, poke around. Um... Yeah, let's see if Larry knows anything about the uh, door. Although I, I don't know if Sally would have picked up on the reflection uh, between the game. And everything else. Look at the game in the real world. Nope. Nothing new here. One last check. What is it? Like it looks like a like a jewelry box, but it also looks like there's a little I don't know if it's a key on the counter or maybe a music box and be a winding key. It could also be like a spoon of some sort, of like reading some fun stuff. Alright, um Alright, let's go. It's whole time. Did 
a huge hole in the wall. It looks like the room on the other side. We got him. I'm pretty sure I've talked to everybody else around here. Here we go. H Hello? There's chapter seven. And we have to play that one. And since we got eight, we were good. In a moment, he found himself somewhere else. Even though Luke wasn't sure how he ended up here, he knew what must be done. The woman is a threat to us. She cannot be trusted. Luke was at the head of the council. We will accomplish great things together and cannot afford any obstacles. Oh, he's, he's a fast one. Well, I guess he is technically in a hurry. Button. Can we go back a room? No, okay. It is just to demonstrate you did come in that way. Chad would only slow us down. She would never follow us with her mother's treacherous blood running through her veins. This is getting so weird. Walk with me into the undying flame, and our power shall be endless. Oh, is that a statue of him, or is they just... Are they... Oh, maybe the statues were of his wife and a kid. Oh. Okay, it just resets the room. After I was, like, so paranoid about touching any of this stuff earlier. The boys got inertia. Oh. Something like it hot. Crispy fries. Luke, can you hear me? And I got an cheaper for finishing all the game. At least to seem better days. Luke? Ooh. Oh, he's got the gubbin in him. We don't like the gubbin. Um. I hope the gubbin didn't become our friend. Oh. What the hell just happened? Oh! Thanks, Todd. It looks like... It looks like, uh, like pliers strapped to a light bulb and a video camera. But okay. I'll give you one of his inventions. He said that theoretically it could overload and destroy an evil spirit. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. Good thing you did. That red-eyed creep has been here for decades? That was before I was even born. I guess I'm, maybe I'm not cursed after all. Yeah, who knew Addison Apartments had such a dark past? But living here with Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we'll have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thing it seemed like it took care of it. it. Seemed. Oh. What is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking, I guess since there's no curse, this means that my dad, he, he just... Aw? Larry, no! Aw! Hugs. We still don't know that. Again, they used to fish together, so... So much to solve. I'm sorry, Sal. I'm sorry, Sal. That's our time for today. The cards give me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I hope we get some honest insight from you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial in just a few days. I swear on my life, I've told you nothing but the truth. Government conspiracies, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system? Now, all these things don't exist. You really can't expect me to believe you. Uh, think about it from my perspective, the evidence against you for what you did. Well, it is profound. I know how it sounds, but what I've told you is the truth. Go to the treehouse, please. Just go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. What a fucking psycho, eh? Are we going to actually get to play as the docker at some point? Or are we going to at least see the tale of how this stuff got to the treehouse? Oh, he's going! He's going! Our boy! He's freaking going! His crappy K-car! No more... No more lies? Is that say? Floof. Heidi likes pancakes. Sorry, I have to read all the... Uh, the uh, graffiti, SF, 
He does not have an inventory. Okay. So either this dude's gonna uncover something or he's gonna freaking die. I'm starting to feel freaking die, but. <laughs> That or at least give him incentive to keep us around for a couple more sessions of Fair with a Band-Aid. Alright, um... Uh, clothes, books, cassettes, nothing of importance. Here's your photograph of Larry's parents. Nothing strange about it, though. Rusty tools and other various junk. No, there's the painting that he was working on. Yeah, okay. You old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Oh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. That was so convincing. This whole thing seems off. Um, Larry's dead. He did say he hadn't heard from him in a while. Dr. the Enon. Oh, oh, oh! Don't freak out, man. We need your help. You have to. You have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is much deeper than we thought. Please, you have to get Sal here. Th this, you're, th you're, you can't be. Hold down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then. Well, it. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Just <laughs> ooh. Well, time for Plan B. There's at least two or three more um, chapters left. So, oh, there's the red ball, dodgeball. It is a dodgeball. I wish we'd gotten them to play dodgeball. Is this real? Am I dreaming? Don't forget what I told you. Find me in the white room. Or the more a twig. Because, well, like, why isn't that one backwards? Okay, here's weird face. Ear... And life here you are wait do not be afraid you are safe here thou but you must not speak of this place to others okay The only one who believed you is dead now. That's just freaking great! <laughs> what should I do? Bruh. Run? Uh. Oh! Oh! This way. Maybe you don't run towards the video camera. Oh. I want to get them all to mid. Okay. Okay. I just see the. I saw the arrows on the sides. There used to be a door here. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Or I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak to your conviction of? Being an innocent man, are you sticking with the story you told the police? I will share the truth. Do you say your original story wasn't true? I have no comment on that. Can you comment on the supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? How do you explain no witnesses or evidence of any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Is it true they are going to add the Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to pin that on me, too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? 
I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. Okay, since we are getting any major, major details from you, let me ask you our highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of bologna? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just... well, it's a long story. Your trial is still a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ugh. Alright. There 